There are so many AI tools out there and I wanted to compare some text to image generators if they can be used for Power BI. I mostly use them for design inspiration, but maybe they can be used for more. Could they be used for Power BI mockups, which could be actually used for report building? Let's find out. I wanted to test five different tools, DALI 3, Imagine 3, Midjourney, Flux 1, and Leonardo AI. I use the free version of them all, except for Midjourney because it doesn't have any. And then I wanted to compare them with four different prompts. The level one prompt is a quick and short data visualization dashboard. The level two prompt is a generic dashboard with some specifications. The level three is a more detailed prompt describing features more accurately. And level four is an even more detailed prompt describing the attributes specifically, like where to put which visuals and what data to show. How did I score? With each prompt, the best result gets one point and the worst gets five. At the end I'm going to calculate the average of all the results and whichever tool has the lowest points wins. The things I looked at were the accuracy, like how well the tool follows the prompt, the appearance, the feel and look of the design, like the layout, the color theme and the visuals, and then the implementation if it's actually doable in Power BI. With each tool I created at least six images with each prompt and I picked the best one. So here are the best results of the level one prompt. The first one is Dali. It looks like a dashboard, the layout is pretty busy, the lines and colors are aesthetic, but the visuals are not very clear and the shapes are not completely formed. There are some weird elements there like a human or these line charts shaped as mountains. The entire thing looks like if it would be a control panel of a spaceship or something. I would say it's not doable in Power BI, but maybe the colors could be used. The next one is Imagine. It also shows a dashboard design. I would prefer it front facing, but it's okay. Most of the results had this dark mode. The colors are nice, but the visuals are also not very clean. And I like the layout. I would say it's pretty doable in Power BI, maybe except these two map visuals in the top corners. Then the next one is Mid Journey. This one also looks like a dashboard, but often the results were displaying some dashboard in a car or something like that. The colors and the shapes are nice. I like also the layout, but the visuals are kind of unclear and also weird. I would say it's not doable in Power BI with these visuals and forms, but the color and the layout could be used. I really like this one from Flux. This is what I would expect for the prompt. It's pretty aesthetic, the layout is well done, the visuals are also clear, and it is also doable in Power BI. We would need some workaround for these avatars here and also for these rounded column charts. Then the last one is Leonardo AI. It also opted for dark mode designs and overall not bad. It shows a dashboard. The visuals are mostly clear, maybe this KPI card on the top and also I think these are pie charts are not very clear. And there are a lot of colors, but I think they kind of match with the design and I think it's also partly doable in Power BI. The background can be done, the column charts also and the KPIs maybe with some workaround or you have to interpret it in some way. And now it comes to the scoring of level one. I think Flux was the best one, then Leonardo AI is second, Imagine is third, Midjourney is fourth and Dali fifth. Then let's look into level 2. This is a bit more descriptive prompt. The background should be like a light white gray gradient and the color theme should be blue to gray for the data. And this is the result of DALI. It kind of looks like a dashboard. The white gray gradient background is okay. The data colors are more blue to dark gray or even black. Aesthetically it's not bad. I like the color theme with the neon blue and dark gray and white. But the visuals are not clear and the shapes are not completely formed. It's not doable in Power BI in this form. Maybe the colors could be used though. Then imagine the white gray gradient background is okay. Blue to gray color theme. It's more like a blue scale, but you could say that the lighter blue is kind of grayish. The layout is not bad, the visuals are organized, and it's also clear for the most part what the visuals are supposed to be. It's pretty doable in Power BI. Mid journey with the light white gray gradient background. The blue to gray colors are again more like a blue scale. I like the layout, the color theme is also nice, the visuals are kind of unclear again. And the same like in level 1, the layout and the colors could be used for a report, but it couldn't be implemented as it is in Power BI. The next one is Flux. It had really good results in my opinion. The background is not really a white and gray gradient, but the colors are there, white and gray. The blue to gray color theme is also there for the data. I think it's pretty aesthetic. The layout is also well done. The visuals are clear, and I think it's mostly doable in Power BI. 
There are the avatars in the top right corner again, which would need some workaround. Then Leonardo AI, the background again is white and gray, but not really a gradient. The data colors are like a blue scale. The layout is good though, and the visuals are clearer this time. I would say it's mostly doable in Power BI. Maybe this area here in the bottom middle and in the bottom right is not very clear with the KPIs and also in the middle with the pie chart. I would assume this is like the values and maybe this could be a legend. It's kind of weird, but it could be done in the regular format with the Power BI donut chart. I would say in this round, Flux was the best again. Then second is Leonardo AI, third is Imagine 3, Mid Journey is fourth, and Dali is fifth. Then let's go to level three. This prompt describes the attributes even more accurately. Additionally to the previous prompt, it includes that it's a sales dashboard, that the text should be dark blue, and the most important information should be also primary blue, with the main visual on the top left being a column chart. This is the result of Dali. There is no indication that it's a sales dashboard. The primary information is not really highlighted. Everything is blue. The text is dark blue, I checked, but it looks more like black. Main visual column chart on the top left. Yeah, there is a column chart there, but there are also other visuals and it was also not consistent with the other results. It doesn't look bad, but the visuals are not clear again and the layout is also very busy. We couldn't be editing Power BI, but we could use maybe the colors. Imagine shows a pretty nice result. The title says sales dashboard, so at least it indicates it. Most important information is primary blue. I see some blue highlights. I would say these dark blue colors are highlighted. I realized that this part in the prompt primary blue is not very clear. It could have been something like highlight the important date of it blue and make the rest gray. The text is dark blue. Again, it's pretty dark. The main visual on the top left is a column chart or a combination chart. This is the largest chart on the dashboard, so I accept it. The design is more flat, there is no depth really, and aesthetically it's not very appealing, but it's doable in Power BI. Midjourney delivered some pretty bad results, some conceptual and cinematic images. This was the best one, and there is no indication that it's a sales dashboard. The most important information is primary blue, but all the information is blue, so doesn't tell much. The text is dark blue, but there are also other colors like this lighter blue or the white in the header. The main visual is a column chart, but this is also the only chart in the entire dashboard. The visuals are not clear. Also, there is a lot of text in the bottom. I don't know what they are exactly. So I would say it's not doable in Power BI. The flex. There is no indication that it's a sales dashboard. The most important information is primary blue, but everything is the same blue. The text is dark blue, but it looks rather black and there is no column chart in the top left. It's pretty aesthetic. I also like the layout. The visuals are also mostly clear and it would be also doable in Power BI. Leonardo AI had also pretty bad results. This one was the best one, which looks like a website landing page. The colors are there and there is also a column chart, but again, it's not a dashboard. This time I would say Imagine was the best. Flux is the second, Mid Journey is third, Dali is fourth and Leonardo AI is fifth. Then let's move to the level 4 prompt. This is a pretty descriptive prompt. Additionally to the previous one, it adds a header with a title and the filter button on the right side. In the top left, there is still a column chart with sales and profit. In the top right, there are three KPIs with profit, sales and units sold. The bottom left should show a bar chart with sales by categories. And in the bottom right, there is a table with product sales details. Dali in the Bing website failed with this prompt because it was too long, so I created this image in ChatGPT instead. The result is not very accurate. There is no header. We can see some indications that there is a sales dashboard and there is also some indication of profit and unit sold. In the top left there is a column chart and they are like kind of KPI charts in the top right but there are also other visuals. There is no bar chart in the top bottom and there is kind of like a table in the bottom right but I wouldn't say it's enough. I like the colors but the visuals and these neon light effects here or here couldn't be done in Power BI. The next one is Imagine. There is a header with the title Sales Dashboard and there is also a filter button on the right side. The top left visual is a column chart with sales and profit. It kind of shows that there is sales and profit there. In the top right there are three KPI cards, also I don't see the sales and there is also another visual. The bottom left 
is a column chart instead of a bar chart, but this was something I saw with all the tools that they had a hard time to show a bar chart. And the bottom right is a table. You could say it's product sales details, but you can't really see the text. The design is flat again, but it's not bad, also nothing special, and it's doable in Power BI. Mid journey, there is no indication that it's a sales dashboard. The title is filter and no filter button on the right side. The top left visual is, looks like a combination chart. No indication of sales and profit there. The top right, there are no KPI cards. In the bottom right, there is no bar chart and there is no table in the bottom right corner either. The colors could be maybe used, but again, the visuals are not clear and it's not really doable in Power BI. Flux did a solid job again, although there is no indication that it's a sales dashboard. There is a title in the header and you could read it that it's a filter button on the right side. The main visual is a column chart on the top left. There are three KPI cards on the top right and there is also a fourth visual. There is also some indication that it's profit or could be profit, but the other labels don't make any sense. It swapped the table and the column chart, so the table is on the left and the column chart instead of bar chart is on the right. The layout is pretty clean, the color composition is also aesthetic, the visuals are clear except the text and it could be done in Power BI. Leonardo AI, this one looks like a website landing page again, but at least it also shows a dashboard. There is indication that it's a sales dashboard. In the header, there is a title, also it says light. And there are buttons on the right side, but you can't say if there is a filter button. On the top left, there is a column chart. On the top right, there are only two KPIs, but you can tell that it's for profit and units sold. And there are also some donut charts, which were not part of the prompt. In the bottom left, there is a sales column chart, not a bar chart. And in the bottom right, there is a small table, but there is also another visual. The dashboard part itself is not bad. Nice layout and I also like the colors. The visuals are also mostly clear. I would say it could be done in Power BI. This time I would say Flux has the lead overall, although Imagine could follow the prompt better. So Imagine is second, Leonardo AI is third, Dali is fourth and Midjourney is fifth. If you look at the end results, Flux was the best, Imagine is second, Leonardo AI is third, Midjourney is fourth, and Delhi is fifth. In conclusion, none of the tools could create a perfect dashboard, and I also don't know if they will ever be able to create dashboards with clear text and data. But I think some of the tools are a step closer to it, with more or less being able to follow more complex compositions, and they can give inspiration for color palettes and UI design as before. I think they could be used for mockups too. They are not quite there yet, but they can already give an idea of what the dashboard would conceptually look like based on the input. If they become more accurate, they could be used for very quick initial mockups. Let me know what you think in the comments, and here is a video where I built a report based on AI images. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet.